Now, we don't just have to define images with copy and paste. We could also use a formula. So for, for example, something that you might notice occurs a lot in this code is the scaled down dog, right? So often we want a slightly smaller dog, a half as tall and white dog that we could put in various locations over the cat. So this formula is actually quite useful. I'm going to make that into its own constant definition. So again, I'm going to say left paren define, and this time maybe I'll call it a, a small dog. That's one word, small hyphen dog, and I'm going to use this formula to define what a small dog is. Okay, and now that I've made that definition, not only can I use that name, the new name small dog in the interactions window, like this, I can also use the same name in the definitions window. So instead of scale 0.5 dog, I could shorten that to small dog. Okay. Now the it might look like the space savings from this new definition of the constant small dog is not as much because all we've done is to take a formula like scale 0.5 dog and make it slightly shorter. But another reason we might make this a constant definition is that it makes it easier for us to change what a small dog is. Suppose that we suddenly decide that we want the dog to be a little bit even smaller. So maybe instead of 0.5, we want 0.3 as the scaling factor. Well, I just have to change one place in my code and all the small dogs became smaller. You can see this small dog, this small dog, this small dog in the middle, all these small dogs became the same, even smaller small dog. So I only have to change one place, and suddenly all the places where I used to use the name small dog, they change as well. So that's really powerful. I can define constants that are not images as well. So here in my code, there might be things I want to give names to that are not images, but perhaps numbers. One number that might be useful to give a name to is the number 30. Um, it is kind of the size of medium-sized text. So maybe instead of 30, I, might, I, I want to make it easier to change perhaps. So uh, let's make a definition for that. So let's say uh, left paren define, and uh, maybe this time I'm going to give the name size. And I'm going to define size to be 30. That doesn't look like a space saving at all. Right, because now if I go through my code and change everywhere I use 30 to mean the size of a piece of text, I'm going to make it the, the word size. That actually makes the code longer because I went from two characters, three zero to four characters. But what this does is, well, first of all, it does not affect the result of the program. And secondly, it makes it easier for us to play with changing the size. So maybe I want the size to be a little bit bigger. Maybe I want the size to be, let's say, 45. Okay. So now just by changing the word size to mean 45 instead in one place, everywhere I used to have text, now it's a little bit bigger. This hello is a little bit bigger, and that other hello is also bigger. Okay. So that's one reason to define a constant or a variable to make it easier to change one place and affect what a lot of different places do.